Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We are here with Brandy and Jake. We're going to demonstrate all the obedience commands he's learned here at school. First we're going to introduce the training equipment. Brandy's got a standard six foot web training leash and she keeps the bulk of that leash folded neatly in her right hand which leaves her left hand free to make a correction. And the only correction we give is a little tug and release on the training collar which is the second piece of equipment. Now as you'll notice Jake is seated very nicely at Brandy's left which is where all the training starts and stops and the first command we're going to demonstrate is healing. Healing is proper leash walking, always on your left, and the command is Jake heal. Now at this point, he's got a job to do, and that's to stay even with your left leg, no forging ahead, no lagging behind. And whenever you stop, he's been trained to automatically sit and wait for another command. Now it's gonna be important to practice with him when he comes home every day. Keep your training sessions relatively short, 15 minutes or so, but you can do multiple training sessions during the day. If it's too hot outside, if it's raining, certainly practice your training inside. So it's important to work him inside and outside. In the beginning, we always recommend practicing with your dog in a quiet area. So if you can work him out back or in a fenced in area, that's really important. The next command we're gonna demonstrate is the sit stay. The sit stay is a hand and a voice command. Use your left open palm, the one word firm command to stay. Have him hold this for 30 seconds, slowly working all the way up to three minutes. Take your time getting to that three minute mark. When Brainy returns back to him, she walks all the way around counterclockwise. She stops at heel position, and then he's ready for another command and they take off healing. Now we've just done like five videos in a row, so you could tell that, that Jake's sniffing some of the other dogs that Brandy's just been working with, a little distracted by their smell. And if you heard Brandy say no head up, when you control his head, you control Jake. You don't want him sniffing and smelling. It's one thing if you're taking him for a walk and he's trying to find a spot to go potty, but it's another thing if you're trying to heal with him. Sniffing is a distraction. Brandy calls him out of that. This is Jake come, that's the come on command. You want him to come all the way back. And the most important thing is that he comes and the second most important thing is that he sits when he gets to you. So if you saw, if he didn't sit right away, Brandy gave a little tug and said, no sit. Because we don't want to greet him and praise him and love him up until he's got all four feet on the ground. Nice automatic sit. Brandy gives him that stay command one more time. If you're working indoors or if you're working in a fenced in area, you can eventually drop the leash, increase your distance between you and Jake. She calls him out of that, he comes back very nicely, and a beautiful automatic sit. Brandy didn't have to tell him to sit, he sat automatically. You can hear Brandy praising him, we want him to enjoy training, so we do use praise as our primary motivator. That's really important. Nice automatic sit. Now the next command we're gonna demonstrate is gonna be the down from heel position. So with your left open palm, the one word firm command to down and to stay. With your down stay, start off at about a minute to two minutes, working up to five minutes. Again, Brandy walks all the way around them counterclockwise. She stops right there at heel position, and then Jake's ready for another command and they take off healing. So the commands that we've either taught or reinforced is proper leash walking, the automatic sit command, the sit stay, the down stay, the come, and the distance down. Another nice automatic sit. Show you that down from the heel position one more time. If he doesn't do it the first time, you tell him no, and then give him that down command again. It's important that when you give him a command, he's got to do it. If it takes you a couple times, that's okay. Randy calls him out of that down stay, uses that leash as a guide. You can see he's putting his nose to the ground, but as long as you have that leash attached to him, you can kind of keep him moving and keep him motivated. He's done a really, really nice job. He's a really sweet boy. We've really enjoyed having him here at school. And then the very, very last command we're gonna show you is what we call our distance down command. So always have your dog seated first. In the beginning, take two or three steps away. And this is, and you're gonna use your right hand and the one word firm command to down and stay. And as you practice at home, you can increase that distance. Like I said, start off at two or three feet, 
slowly working up to six feet and even further. We're going to give you a ton of information when you pick Jake up. You're going to have a training packet. He's going to get a diploma. And you're going to work with us that day so you can make sure that Jake follows these commands at home. We want to thank you so much for using Nora's Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainer. We can't wait to see you soon. Have a great day.